Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be working with a parabola with two tangents. Two tangents drawn to the parabola y equals x squared plus bx plus 1 from the origin are perpendicular. And then using this information we're going to find the b value and also the equation for the tangents. Alright, great. So now we do know or we are given that the tangents, the two tangents drawn are perpendicular to each other. So a couple of things we need to know beforehand. If two lines are perpendicular, then we do know that the product of their slopes is equal to negative one. Of course, unless one of them is vertical and the other one is horizontal. So if two lines are perpendicular, then we know that m1 times m2 is equal to negative one. So this is what we know about perpendicular lines. Great. So the tangents are not drawn at the origin, but they're drawn from the origin. So we need to be able to write an equation for the tangent lines. And as you well know, hopefully, any line that goes through the origin can be written as y equals mx, where m is the slope. So our tangents are going to look like this, y equals mx. But why only one line? Because uh, different slopes basically uh, is going to give us different lines. Okay, so this is the general equation for a line that goes through the origin, which is 0, 0. Now, what does this have to do with the parabola? Well, first of all, if you look at this point carefully, you're going to notice that the line and the parabola are tangent, right? Well, if two graphs are tangent to each other, when you solve them simultaneously, then there's going to be exactly one solution. So we're going to start by setting those values equal to each other. So let's go ahead and set the equation for the parabola equal to the equation for the tangent line. And we do know that this equation must have one solution because the parabola is tangent to the line or vice versa. Now let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. We can turn this into a quadratic equation. And I want this equation, this quadratic, to have a single solution. What is that supposed to mean? It means that this is a perfect square. You can look at it that way. Or you can look at the discriminant. So let's go ahead and look at the discriminant for this equation. Since there's only one solution, the delta, the discriminant, needs to be 0. And what is the discriminant for this quadratic? It's b squared minus 4ac. But remember, b is the coefficient of x and a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1 in this case, and c is the constant, which is 1 again. So we can write the discriminant as b minus m quantity squared minus 4 times 1, which is 4, and set it equal to 0. Now this gives us two solutions because b minus m squared equals 4 implies that either b minus 1 is equal to 2, or b minus 1 is equal to negative 2. Great. So this gives us two values. But remember, I had told you at the beginning that even though I'm writing one line, one equation, y equals mx, that actually represents two lines. This one and that one. And what is the difference? The difference is in the slopes because they both go through the, the origin. So from here, it would make sense if I isolated m because that's going to give me the slope. So from here, the first slope, which I could call m1, is going to be b minus 2. And the second one, m2, is just going to be b plus 2. So these are the slopes of the lines, the tangent lines. And we know that since these lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is equal to negative 1. So my next step is going to be multiply the slopes and set it equal to negative 1 and solve the resulting equation. Let's go ahead and do that next. Okay. So I'm going to multiply m1 times m2. That should equal negative 1 because the lines are perpendicular. And m1 is equal to b minus 2 and m2 is equal to b plus 2. And their product is equal to negative 1. But this is difference of two squares. So from here I get b squared minus 4 equals negative 1. Adding 4 to both sides, I get b squared equals 3. And from here, I do get two b values. Okay. Now if you look at my picture, my vertex is in the first quadrant. And what is that supposed to mean? Vertex is found by the x-coordinate of the vertex, as you know, for a parabola, is supposed to be negative b over 2a. Okay, 
So since this is an upward parabola, a value is positive. So I can safely say that in order for this to be positive, because my x vertex is in the first quadrant, it needs to be positive. A is positive, B needs to be negative. So from here, I get that B needs to have a negative value. So I'm only going to go for the negative value of B, which is negative root 3. So B equals root 3 is not going to work for my parabola because my vertex is in the first quadrant. Great. Now, what would happen if you use B equals root 3? You can kind of explore that and let me know what you uh, get, uh, come up with. But we know that B is equal to negative root 3. That's kind of nice because that gives me the B value, which is one of the things that I want to find. But I also want to find the equations of these lines. So let's go ahead and find the M values. And we know that there are two slopes. M1 is equal to, we, we just found it here, right? B minus 2. And since b is equal to negative root 3 minus 2, we get negative root 3 minus 2 here for the m1. And m2 is equal to b plus 2. And that should equal negative root 3 plus 2. And notice that m1 is negative, m2 is positive, because one of the lines have a positive slope, and the other line has a negative slope, as you can clearly see in the picture. OK, great. So this gives me the, the slopes. And from here, I can basically write the equations of the lines. And then I already got the B value. And that's pretty much everything I need. OK, let's go ahead and write down the equations. So the equations for the tangents, equations for the tangents is then y equals negative root 3 minus 2 multiplied by x. And the other equation is going to be y equals negative root 3 plus 2 all multiplied by x because the equation was y equals mx, remember? And my b value was negative root 3. Okay? And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another awesome video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.